okay so you have to have a proper pitch deck okay a pitch book okay so in this pitch book you have to have few ingredients in place okay and those are key ingredients like i will give you a list of 10 items and those 10 items should be there in your pitch deck or pitch book when you are reaching out to your investors but before that i will explain you what nature of investors are available in the market okay financing options okay if you're having a startup first option is bootstrapping like put your money or your father's money on stake okay that's the easiest option okay but if you are not going to convince your friends and family or maybe they are you know they are unable to finance your startup in that situation you have to reach out to the incubator accelerator maybe they are going to finance you or they are going to arrange the financer for you then you have to reach out to the angel investors they are an angel investor in the market they are the high net worth individuals they can afford you from your point of view it's a high ticket size from their point of view it's not a high ticket size they can afford you 500k or 1 million injection in your business but that's a quite cumbersome process or uh, for you or so so this is the reason that you have to reach out to the angel investors next option is vcs venture capital but with vcs you have to deal properly and professionally okay as i mentioned you have to go with a proper pitch deck backed by the financial feasibility if you prepare a uh, pitch deck but it's not backed by a proper financial feasibility you are going to fail okay and then and definitely we are going to discuss that what are do's and don'ts when you are reaching out to the vcs okay so these are the options even few governments are offering uh, to promote the startups you know in, in, in pakistan in ksa in uae uh, they are offering certain loans you know smes loans around 5 million or something they are offering to uh, to the startups to to promote the culture of startup or entrepreneurship okay so you can reach out to them okay or you may work around the grants there are certain grants in pakistan or outside pakistan or maybe in ksa so you have to reach out maybe world bank is offering that grant or maybe you know uh, there are uh, uh, there are international bodies who are offering these grants if you are meeting certain objectives you can work around the grants as well government grants so these are the options available now i have to share my screen to walk you through with uh, with the investment options available yeah so this is the these are the 10 elements of pitch deck okay you have to define your problem what problem you are going to address then the solution which your startup is going to address then the key product features what product features should you have okay and the market fit whether is going to fit the target market or not competitive landscape are there already uh, the players uh, 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 there in, in in that competitive landscape is strong or we or there is no competition at all maybe your usp or unique selling point is quite enough to outbeat uh, all the compat uh, competitors and then the revenue and operating model as i already explained you in your earlier question that your revenue model should be clear and defined and your operating model should be clear and defined and well documented and the traction whether you are going to uh, track that or not and the projections how you see your projections which should be backed by your financial feasibility team is a quite key component your team should not be part timers group of part timers your team should not be freelancers your team should not be weak and it should be a good combination of people having different skill set so they should look like a team it's not like one skill set for all okay like five sales guys uh, you know working on a startup and they are having all same skill set no it background no finance background no uh, other background so it's not going to make a team right no reputation in the team and the funding requirement funding requirement if you are going to pitch to the vc definitely you are re- require make it clear to them that this is my requirement i need 5 million or maybe i need 10 million whatever the requirement is as per your uh, startup then you have to raise that requirement to them so these are the top 10 elements you have to include in your pitch deck when you are reaching out to your angel investors when you are reaching out to your uh, vcs or any other target investor Uh, the thing is that don't reach out to venture capital without having a strong proof of concept in hand i already explained what is proof of concept and how to do it yes okay. so you should have the proof of concept in hand when you are reaching out to the uh, venture capital 
your team your team should be strong enough and should be all or most of them are on permanent basis they don't like to have because they are investors they see who will run the business you are all the part timers who will run the business who did the proof of concept if you all of you are uh, the bunch of freelancers so they should be full timers or most of them are should be full timers having diversified skill set so they should look like a strong team okay so that's the second point and the third point is that uh, you should have a strong revenue model in place i already explained what is revenue model what are the options available in the revenue model and we consult the people as well on the revenue model how to tweak your revenue model to make it sellable for the venture capital or the investors or how to be a profitable business uh, down the road so this is uh, the, the these are the options like as i told you proof of concept should be in place your team should uh, look strong your uh, your um, pitch deck should be backed by strong financial feasibility because they are more into finance they will do the due diligence or of your numbers so your financial feasibility should support your valuation okay so these areas or component should be well explained and should be well prepared and your team above all your team should look strong that they have the capability to deliver what you are putting in your pitch deck it's not like you're putting something in your pitch deck and you are not capable enough to deliver so they are looking the venture capital are looking that okay they are capable people to deliver this is the idea having a good pitch deck yes it is addressing the pain point and this is the right solution for it they these are the right people to deliver for it and definitely because they have the by the way one important thing venture capital are also looking for the gray hair impact as i told you mentor who is doing the mentorship for yourself if you develop yourself maybe it's a very you know amazing idea and you're pitching that idea but it's not properly backed by people who can't the science of physics and not reviewed by any mentor you know any subject matter expert so it means that you are not able to convince the venture capital yes it is reviewed by a certain subject matter expert and he confirmed that it is workable option and that's the right solution so these all components should be considered while reaching out to the uh, potential investor whether it's vc or angel